Hey, you beautiful person. This show is The Money Brew Show and I'm with Travis Little, an epic legend in my life that I needed to just drag onto the show. <laughs> he's like, come on, dude. Yeah. So Travis is amazing. He's an artist. He's also in insurance sales and he's worked a really good career for himself. I feel like he's very humble um, and that's why I like him a lot. And I think he's going to bring a different perspective and just a fun little conversation uh, that you guys can enjoy. We're talking about work, life balance uh, and, and being successful in your, your balance of life. And then we are trying this tea right away. This is a crazy news flash. Obviously AI has been around. It's not a new thing. It's not a get rich quick. It's really an optimization. And how do we optimize our lives so we can drink more coffee? We can um, have fun like this example is a pig that really made my son happy when we were traveling and we were basically up here in Beaver Creek um, and enjoying ourselves. So like, what does that look like? You know, as humans, we're, we're optimized and we're chasing to have a good time. We're chasing to enjoy, um, you know, like an experience and things like that about at the AI. What what? at this AI workshop. How can you wake up and have your email summarized, have bookings in your calendar and things like that. My name is Daniel James Vandenberg. I'm with DGM Design. It's going to be jam packed. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be for you to really take it and go further with it. That's why we called it Maximizing AI. And there's going to be people in the room that are going to sit and work with you and share. It's not just going to come from my perspective. You get to use that and elevate that. And I've been doing tech and design and marketing and things like that for a long time. And I know that it's those 5% improvements that will get you to where you want to be every month. So yeah, cheers, cheers. I'll see you there. Um, let's make it happen. Bye. Just pick the thing up and like have a look at it but so this is a yuck to yum wait <laughs> and <laughs> and uh it's a taste test so we rank it from one to ten right uh, and right before you do i need your elevator pitch your elevator pitch uh -huh. <laughs> what's <On>. a spitch <laughs> <laughs> um just on like who you are what you love like why do you live oh before we had the tea yeah 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 you gotta you gotta you gotta tell these people who you are man again i'm travis and in commercial circles i'm i'm tj uh and i'm an artist and a uh, a father and a friend and uh, i just love creativity and uh you know thank you for the opportunity to talk uh today uh you know i've been talking with daniel for it feels like uh quite a while and we've had some great conversations so uh just yeah awesome to be here cheers man let's yeah. try it Heck yeah okay so one out of ten let's see it's a chai rooibos tea with a splash of coffee so it's a dirty chai rooibos it's bitter and it gives you a little bit of a kick and it's it's a break. It could be a breakfast tea. That's but my kind of drink. I would order that. Any, no way. Anyways. No so way. If I put a little sugar in the raw in there or something like that. Something to sweeten Spice it, up it up a little bit. Yeah. It's, yeah. A, little, it's a little on the. Pause. On the Let's go get some sugar. Yeah. Do we have sugar still? No. I could yeah. go grab some. Oh, no. It's not necessary. It's just fine. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, don't go through the trouble, bro. No, not, um, yeah. One to ten. Ten being the best. Yuck to yum. And you guys can find this on the website, Daniel James Media slash Yuck to Yum. But one out of 10, or 10, sorry, one to 10, Daniel James. <laughs> <laughs> one, one to 10, Drew. <laughs> what would you rate it? Uh, you never rank something a 10, so I gotta give it a nine. Because again, I would order something like that uh, uh, anyways. You're like a great math teacher, you know? They're right. just like, yeah. hey, punk, I'm yeah. not giving you a 10. <laughs> just sit down, okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what is what is work-life balance for you? And how have you gotten to the, live, like the place in life that you're at? Because, you know, we have ups and downs, but what does that look like for you, Travis? I'm only experiencing work-life <laughs> balance for the first time probably in my uh, uh, career uh, at this point, you know. Uh, totally. Takes a while to achieve something like that. Uh, what those steps are, I don't exactly uh, know. Or, or, or can I take you on a, a timeline or a progression of those yeah. events on how that worked? I don't know necessarily. Right. 
but yeah, it's it, it's wonderful. I'm glad that I finally do get to achieve it. I've been in my sales career for 20 years. Uh, we're approaching 20 years at this point. Amazing. And only now have I begun to experience enough time uh, in that position that I'm able to spend you know time outside of that position um, and experience uh, you, you know the, yeah. the creative aspect of, uh, of yeah. my being. And that position, what I what I always find incredible is, I mean, Travis isn't like you know he's more on a higher no, I wouldn't say higher he's more like a management level person, but all dictates his time on when he runs appointments and how that works. And what blew me away when my wife started, because my wife w works alongside Travis, and was the, they, they, you can take, you're helping people, essentially. So like, tell us a little bit about the insurance and, you know, you help people, but then there's also this residual that you build in this, you know, you, you, you're gonna touch, touch people in a different way, but there's also an incentive for you long-term. Sure. Um, most careers don't have that, right? No, they don't in those, those aspects of what this, career offers is again why i get to experience that work-life balance uh because of those you know again features of that the the particular career the great thing about the insurance uh industry as a whole is insurance in, in general is a need uh, whereas a lot of other products services commodities are not they're not necessarily a need they're more want driven uh, and obviously there's a lot of, you know, uh, sales and psychology that goes behind that too. But when we're dealing with a need, uh, it really puts us, you know, in a position to help people because yeah. if they need that product or service, now it's just a matter of education. And if you're, you know, passionate about that and then helping people make that decision or come to that conclusion, uh, it's neat. It's, it's reciprocal because obviously the client benefits from that product or service and, and then you get to benefit, you know, from the offering of that product or service too. But the position itself, you know, again, if, you know, the sacrifices are made up front in the beginning of a career like this or any other career, you know, that's yeah. similar to this, you get to enjoy the the balance, so again, that you were talking oh, about on the, on yeah. the backside, right? And uh, so like Travis does life, health and annuities. I don't know if I'm missing any in, in that bucket. Yeah, that's good. That's it, good yeah. Summer, so yeah. annuities are like investments, with insurance in some ways, but it's more of like a safety play. Um, what are some like, is there any like funny stories that you're allowed to share with clients? Like, or is it, is it pretty limited? Are we allowed to say stuff that's really been- Oh, there's no confidentiality if okay, that's what good. you're talking okay. about. <laughs> However, I man, I'd have to be asked a specific question because I have too many stories. I have 20 years of sitting down in people's homes, uh, generally at their dinner table and or their living room. And I've done this uh, about five <laughs> times a day, uh, times five days a week, times uh, 20 years. So wow. it's a very intimate setting, uh, by the way. Not many people get that experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people are, uh, you know, in and out of your home maybe, but they don't get to stick around. So the Comcast guy, maybe he's there on an appointment <laughs> and maybe he's, he's down. Uh, That's but so the, crazy. the insurance individual, we get this perspective uh, that not many people get. Uh, so it, it's a very, very intimate experience. And with dealing with humans, obviously, you're, you're dealing with, uh, uh, the good, the bad, the ugly, and uh, yeah. you know everything in between. So, man, do I have stories? Like, I have so many like stories. Bugs, it's, smells, it's, right? Man. Like, what's the common? It's like some people, and it, not everyone. Some, you know, some people have bugs and smells. Um, and <laughs> okay, I know which one, man. Um, <laughs> are you allowed to share this one? So, I, I, Joy came home the one time, and she's like, "Babe, like this is crazy story. I think either was it you or or, or Doug." Um, I think it was you. This one individual, you show up at their house and they always do this one thing that, that no human should do when you answer a door. Um, is that the story? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. I'd like to know the I don't story know the story. I don't know if it's you. <laughs> yeah. Come on. What's so, the one thing? Okay, so so this, I think it's Doug. So every time he shows up, or when you show up to this one lady's house, um, sweet individual, um, you know, African-American lady, and she, uh, she's just in her in her home attire 
but she opens the door with like nothing like no no pants on uh -huh. like zero yeah and uh, i think either he opens the door or he like he can't see clearly and so he he goes in and sits down <laughs> and then the lights go on and then he sees everything that's, and uh, you're like stuck there right that's definitely not me okay uh, that's uh, done that's, oh, that's okay. 100 i mean like how done. do you have an appointment like you uh, just run at that point unbelievably i've had very very few uh <laughs> experiences with uh individuals without their clothes uh, there was this one time uh man, I can't remember this dude's name. I'd, I'd be hard pressed to remember his name, but sure. uh, uh, it's a good thing. <laughs> it was one of those moments where I thought of something clever to say. Uh, you often think of something clever to say after the fact, right? But I thought of something clever to say while it happened. Nonetheless, the fellow answered his door. Bill? Bill, I think was his name actually. <laughs> answered the door oh, without no. his pants on. And he said to me so casually, Do you, you, you want me to put some pants on? <laughs> And I said, you know, or I could take mine off when, it, when in Rome. And it was just one of those moments where it landed. And I don't know if it landed regret. for him, but it yeah. landed for me. It was a, The it was regret a, hit hard, yeah. man. It's a great joke. Did he actually take it? He's like, yeah, take your pants off. <laughs> no, 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 I don't think we uh, agreed on that. Uh, but yeah, it's only I'll sign your few, policy. Yeah. If, yeah, yeah. Like they start ne negotiating yeah, with you. Yeah. Very few times have I dealt with the uh, naked public. So. Yeah, I'm glad yeah. my wife hasn't either. And so it's like, you know, it sounds extreme, but most of these people are harmless and just individuals. And I mean, the mo most, I think Joy's fought off his dogs and, and, and just, you know, making sure that she's safe and good. But I there's she'll know before she gets to a house too. Sure. Which and is I amazing. have yet to be bitten, by the way, by a Good. dog or any other animal or <laughs> child in 20 years it has not taken place, which I find that pretty incredible. The odds are yeah. not in my favor. Yeah, uh, but, there's a, there's uh, a rate yeah, there. For somehow it has not happened at this point. I took a lot of what, what, ta what they were doing. Um, so the company is Tag and then they're part of Integrity Marketing. It's a beautiful like f relationship, but Tag is really like family orientated and a little different to other agencies where they front load a lot of favor to the agencies if they can, right? So it's really cool. Um, but uh, I t what I took away from TAG that I love uh, is the Monday huddles. Because you can have these crazy meetings and then these stories pop in, right? And it's less boring now that you're engaging with, with, like, with, with the uniqueness of the job. But right. Joy's always like, you'd be great in insurance. And I'm like, sometimes I debate, like, what, that could be a fun career. <laughs> um, uh, maybe as a as a retirement switch or something. Sure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> less computer screens, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of that banter. But let's move to the next segment. It We're going to talk about, um, so it's a South African saying, and you have to translate it to English, mm -hmm. and you've you got to give me your best your best bet, okay? Yes. Or you, get, you have to say a different word, so... You have to decide which word. So let me do it. Die man gaan jou bezigheid van jou vat of hy gaan jou klap. Wat se woord moet jy gebruik? Okay, so <laughs> what's your translation? <laughs> you have to say it one more time. Okay, die man gaan jou bezigheid van jou vat of hy gaan jou klap. Uh, it feels a lot like you're darned if you do, darned if you don't. Like, it sounds a lot like one or the other, and... It's yeah, pretty close, uh, eh? Yeah. I like that. Okay, now you have to add a word to it. So, the word is ish or lacquer. Ish. Okay, ish. Okay, good. You chose the right word. So, the guy said, I'm going to come and take your business, so I'm going to give you a slap. And the word ish is like... Like if you if you catch someone breaking something, they're like ish oh ish ish like okay. oh problems. Eh? <laughs> I didn't mean to break it. Hey, I'm sorry. Ah, I don't know ish. Eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> like that's how it would play out. Lacquer lacquer is like oh that's super nice. Like like that's cool. Like I like that. Inappropriate. Yeah. yeah. So you did good. Good. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was our first segment. I have two more, three more segments with Travis Little or TJ uh, as he goes by. Uh, Travis or Travis Little. Travis. Travis, yes. Or Little. Or Little. Whatever. TJ on the wall. Yeah. There that's you go. his brand. So check out his art. Check out his Instagram. That's all going to be in the description. And uh, yeah, if you're interested in insurance, I think there's a guy called Kevin Poznak. No? Sure. Is he the one? Yeah. He's on, uh, he's on LinkedIn. Go find him. He'll probably help you out. Uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, cheers. And see you on the next episode.